Hi everybody, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, and welcome back to Tuesday Reviews. Click like while you're thinking about it and let's jump into the review inside this very colorful, cool zipper bag. In here, I've got something little, but oh so powerful. You may already know about this product. Little disclaimer, I'm not a distributor. I bought these with my own hard-earned cashy type money and I think they're actually pretty cool. They have some downsides. We're going to go over both. This is Lip Sense. You have seen it everywhere already. Everybody and their brother has been reviewing them and I'm going to give you my take on these. Now, first of all, Lip Sense is about the lipstick, buddy. Let me come in for a close-up so you can see this color. It's gorgeous. It's called Blue Red. Now, most of the time, I don't do really bright colors for the whole day. I'll do it for taking some pictures and stuff, but other than that, I end up having to take them off because, well, they wear off and they look funny and they smudge on flipping everything. I will even, you know, I've got long hair, it'll fly up into my mouth, I'll pull it out, and then I've got a streak of lipstick color on my face. Been there, done that. If I had a t-shirt, it would have lipstick on it too. That's one good thing about this stuff. Now, it is a three-step process. And people say, well, what do you have to do all that stuff for? Trust me, it's worth it. Let me show you the different parts. This is just a bunch of my colors and some glosses. Now, with what I'm wearing today, I started off with the remover. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you want your lips to be clean and dry and exfoliated before you start. So I just... Take it out of the tube here with a little wand, smear it around on my lips, like, you know, smush your lips together, rub them around, and just take a dry washcloth and just rub it gently to really dry your lips. Make sure those suckers are dry. Do not lick your lips. I know, it's hard to resist the urge. Then, you shake up the lipstick, because it is liquid. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, copyright infringement, but you shake your lipstick up. And I'm going to show you the wand that comes out. It is very deeply pigmented color. Whoa. And you have to really follow the directions on this. The directions say to start from one side and just single swipe to the other. Don't do the back and forth that you normally do with the liquid lipsticks. And then you do the same thing on the top. Now the top, I start from the middle and go out in the middle and go out. Um, and you let it dry. Don't smoosh your lips together. Don't do that. Um, and I know, you immediately want to. Don't blot. Just sit there like this. Yeah, you look kind of goofy when you're doing it. Let them dry, let them dry. But after you do that and do the second layer, you're doing thin layers. You do a total of three layers. Now you can combine colors and make your own mixtures up, but we're just talking about, let's do single uh, color here. Thin layers, let those suckers dry completely. Then the third step, and the step that you keep with you all day, you don't have to bring your color with you at all, is the gloss. This is the super glossy gloss. The glossy gloss is exactly what it says. You put it on, it helps seal the lipstick, and it keeps it super glossy and gorgeous all day. You want a more matte look, they have a matte gloss. They also have some glosses with a little tint to them. There's one that's orchid, which I have, which has a little pretty pink tint. Um, there's an opal one, there, there are several others. I've only got three of them so far. I will probably get more. Now, are these the only lipstick I, lipsticks I ever wear? No. If I want a color to last all blasted day, and I know I'm gonna be eating, and I don't wanna have to reapply lipstick, and I don't have to worry about getting stuff on it. Now you see this color. I want you to think about every single bright red lipstick you have ever owned in your life. Could you do this? Bet you couldn't. Look, all that's there is a little of the gloss. That's it. The color does not transfer. Want another demonstration? A nice big glass of Diet Pink Lemonade. My beverage of choice when I'm chilling at home. Let me come in closer so you can see. I am smooshing my lips on this glass. Nothing, folks, nothing. 
That is my favorite part about this lipstick. Are there some downsides? Sure. One of the downsides is it does tend to dry your lips a little bit if you don't keep those suckers glossed with whatever gloss you're using. It can start to feel kind of dry and cracky because one of the main ingredients in this which causes it to really have staying power on your lips is alcohol. Um, not the alcohol you drink, but another kind of alcohol. I could read the shit off the, the product package, but I'm not going to. Um, it will dry your lips, so you gotta take care of that. Also, it's hard to remove. That oops remover, yes, you can use that and it will take it off pretty easily. I have also found that one of the uh, makeup wipes, like the Neutrogena type makeup wipes, you just give them a good scrub because those are kind of soft and you can rub real hard without hurting anything. Scrub, 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 scrub. But it takes a bit of work. Yes, long wear is really what they say, long wear. Now they say you can get four to 14 hours out of it. The most I've gotten out of it without needing to take it off is about 10 because I am hard as hell on lipstick. I chew my lips. I've got big lips. That is a lot of landscape, y'all. It's always hanging out there. And I eat. I've sat over there, I have big sandwiches. You know, you ever have lipstick on and bite into a sandwich and you've got lip prints on that sandwich? No lip prints. It's actually pretty cool stuff. I know a lot of the beauty bloggers don't like it because you have to follow these certain steps. You can only wear it certain ways. But in a lot of situations, yeah, it can be cool. You have a special event you're going to where you really wanna bust out the red lipstick. And this is blue red. This is about as red as you can get, honey. Um, it's gonna stay. You're not gonna have to worry about kissing it off on your dance partner. You're just gonna look fabulous all night long. Now, like I said, I'm not a distributor. I'm not associated with any of it. And I don't use it every day all the time. I have a lot of lip product in my bathroom where my vanity is. A lot, okay? The next one in line after this, as far as longevity goes for me, is Jeffree Star. And this has even better longevity than Jeffree Star's uh, liquid velour lipsticks. And that is saying something, because that stuff is pretty good, but you still do get transfer. This is zero transfer. Now they have more colors than just as bright red and stuff. They've got some really neutral colors. I have a color called Nutmeg, which is really nice. It's kind of a, a warm, a frosty warm brown color. Um, Lexi Berry, which has been my favorite up to this point, is sort of a, a darker pink, not a bright in your face pink. I have one of those coming, but a darker subdued pink that you can wear with a lot of stuff that goes with my hair, actually. But I decided to branch out and go for the red. If you have a chance to, if one of your friends is having a little lip sense party, they do them online a lot of times, give it a shot. Worse is, you won't like it. You bought makeup you don't like before, but I think you might actually be into it if you follow the directions that they give. That's super important. Thanks for stopping by Tuesday Reviews. More reviews of all kinds of stuff right up there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.